Uh, we specialise in contract lifting. We also offer tail crane management services and part of the technology we use to supply those services uh, also enable us to offer feasibility studies, um, uh, look closely at projects for clients that perhaps need a bit more attention to detail than what they maybe receive elsewhere. The job itself was to lift five generators, their associated ring beam fuel tanks, their canopies, five chiller units and various transformers, all to act as an immediate backup generator system for the data centre. The client had been told previously that the job was not feasible to be completed with a crane and we actually genuinely felt differently about that. We also then have the capability to survey in depth uh, and update the client's plans um, so that we ensure we are working with accurate information. We felt that once we carried out our pre-survey and moved forward to see what was actually going to happen, carry out our 3D planning, we knew that we could do the job. This is all part of the pre-planning process that we do um, to check the full feasibility uh, of being able to ensure the crane can access the lift position. So this is the, the initial stage we need to you know, confirm if we can do it. I think uh, where Radius excels over other companies is our attention to detail. Uh, being able to get more involved at project management level um, and take an holistic view of the project requirements, uh, not just trying to fit uh, a crane to the job, but you know, making sure the client ends up with what they need uh, and it all works well. We employed Radius because they offered us the best solution to our craneage in terms of the physical space for a crane, the type of crane we could use and uh, they had suitable experienced operatives to help us to lift the equipment onto the roof space. From actual installation point of view, I, uh, I think Radius Crane Management did an excellent job for us. Uh, as we said, the lift is a very difficult lift, it's a difficult project and we can't thank them enough. Once the crane was uh, rigged, ready to work, the next process was to start bringing the deliveries in, which once again goes back to the original planning where we've sat down with a client, we've looked at achievable timescales for the items to be lifted over the course of the two days, and we were able to meet those deadlines. no room for complacency whatsoever. Uh, every project needs to be dealt with uh, with the same respect that, you know, from a start to finish process, you, you, you don't miss any level of detail because that really could cause a problem on the day. When I'm working on site with a client, I just try and maintain a level of professionalism to work with the client. I treat their equipment like it's my equipment. I treat their site like it's my site. And I always try and maintain a level of vigilance. It's given us the opportunity to demonstrate that using our technology experience we were able to deliver a project of this nature um, safely, on time and uh, a complete success. It really was good. The job went so well that we actually managed to, to finish around half a day ahead of schedule on the lifting side, which gave us more time to de-rig the crane, get it out of sight, ready for the market the next day. <laughs>